Bonjour, and welcome to Nice Work Pal. I am Jim, and behind the camera, as always, is the fantastic Dawn. Say bonjour, Dawn. Bonjour, Dawn. We're here to take a look around France, the French pavilion in Epcot. I don't know a lot about French. I know there's French toast, and French is mustard, and... French fries. French fries, yep. Yeah. And uh, the French horn. But uh, we're gonna take a look around. There's some great things to eat here. I'm really looking forward to that. There's also attractions. There's a ride. Let's go have some fun. Let's go. We're gonna start our look around in the newest section of France. Atatouille. It's a whole area. The ride's back here. Uh, the the crepery place is back here. We'll take a look around. This has only been here for a couple of years, but let's start there. Let's go. All right, we're, we're off to a fancy start here, right? Fancy, fancy. Yeah, Le Creperi de Paris. Uh, it's the crepe place. This is uh, a place that replaced a little stand they used to have out in front, and it's, it's still got a walk-up counter where you can get all these cool crepes, but it also has a nice little sit-down crepe restaurant. It's bigger than I thought it would be in here. Yeah, it's it's very spacious. Uh, we were able to just hop in, uh, but you can make reservations for here. Uh, might be recommended on a busy day or later in the day, but there's all kinds of great things here. There's some sweet crepes. There's some savory ones that they uh, call galettes. Uh, we're gonna have one of each this morning. One's more like a breakfasty thing, I think. We're yep. having some nice coffees. I've got a cappuccino here. Uh, but if you're here later in the day, you might be interested in some wine or hard cider. They got some really nice French stuff. I'm gonna start with dessert first. That is the uh, the banana with the caramel sauce or caramel, yeah, caramel sauce. It looks fantastic. It was so a, big. <laughs> It was a good first choice. Uh, it's delicious. Banana, caramel. Uh, the crepes, the crepes are thin. They don't, they, they don't have a ton of flavor. Almost like a pancake. But, but thinner. thinner. Yeah. Uh, it makes it makes it a tough call to get these as a treat because they're not the cheapest things in the world, and they're not the most filling things in the world. But they are delicious. Mm. Okay, now for the other one. This is the, the galants. It's the buckwheat crepes. We got the classique. It's got ham, egg, and Swiss cheese on it. It looks amazing. That's very good. So, a galette is a buckwheat style crepe, right? And it's supposed to be a little more savory than the regular crepe. And it goes well with the ham and cheese and, and the egg. It's a nice, nice breakfast option. Excellent. So Le Creperie de Paris was a pleasant surprise. I thought we might get a crepe at the window, which, by the way, you can totally do. You could just get in the line and There was no a, line when we yeah, came up here. Yeah, you could just get a crepe at the window and take it to go. Or you can walk in and have a seat. And it really kind of was a nice meal, wasn't it? It was. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that was a nice surprise. Yeah. Uh, it was. It turned out to be a great breakfast spot because you could choose sweet or savory. The savory one we got with egg, ham, and cheese in it. Uh, it was very elegant, I thought. And we had nice little French coffees. I felt very fancy. Very fancy. Uh, no, no pass holder or DVC discounts, though. That was a little disappointing, but... I get it. It's new. Yeah. And, and I guess it's like third party because it wasn't a normal checkout That's uh, procedure. Right. They had their own machines. Yeah. That would that would help explain it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it was a nice surprise. I enjoyed eating in there. I didn't really think I would. Uh, there's so much to eat here. <laughs> Literally everywhere. But 
for now, now that we've filled up, let's go spin around. Let's take a look at Ratatouille. <laughs> so Remy's Ratatouille Adventure is a trackless 3D fun ride for the whole family. It's still, it's still a little new, right? So uh, it's very new. Yeah, it's it's got a long line. It's like 85 minutes right now. Yeah, and this is not entirely uncommon. Some days are better than others, but. This is one of those rides you might want to get to right away or look for a, a break in the action or a break down and buy Genie Plus, get the Lightning Lane. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a tough one though because it's not the biggest thrill ride in the world. It's fun, but it's one of those rides where you just go, do I really want to wait 90 minutes for that? Mm. I think we did that when it first opened and it was a long wait. And it was hot and yeah. it was, we were dying outside. Yeah. The queue is largely outside when yeah. it gets to be that long. Yeah. Uh, so, But it is a nice ride. It's a fun ride. Uh, totally something I would recommend trying out if you can. Uh, yeah, so let's go for a ride. All right, let's do it. <laughs> was originally uh, in the parks in, in Paris and uh, it's the same exact ride right even down to the fact that the show is mixed in uh, French and English language which is pretty cool but learn a little something uh, anyway doesn't dump you out exactly in a gift shop but you can't leave the area without walking past the stand selling all the fun cool hats right yeah, that's on something too. Yeah, I don't know where the button, there's a button on here somewhere. You can see Remy telling me what to do. <laughs> I love these stores over here. Uh, is it time to talk perfumes? I think so. That's something the French have also, I'll say, you know, uh, made an impression on, on us. Uh, this store, La Signature, uh, lets you engrave a bottle, right? That's, yeah. That's what I know about it. Uh, I believe you can do a name, um, and then if you pay a little extra and you wait a little bit, they can do more things like engrave the castle and several other, uh, you know, pieces um, from around the Disney parks. So are we gonna go in and try to find my signature scent? Is yeah, that... let's go. I don't All think right. they have anything for you, but maybe well, for you. Maybe for me. <laughs> and here it is. We haven't even walked in yet, and I can already smell the store. It smells really good, and it's complimentary personalization services, lipstick and fragrance bottles. 
So I got a bottle of perfume I've been wanting for a really long time. We, you've been thinking about that one for a long time, and today was the day, right? Today was the day. Yeah. I also got my name on it. They engraved it. It was like that was super fast. Really cool. It's yeah. a machine, and it took like two seconds. Yeah, and, and it was free. And and they're actually going to paint it too, right? They are going to paint it for me for free as well. I just told them to choose whatever design they wanted. It, goes with the bottle, you know, the color of the bottle that you chose. You basically pick the scent that you like. Yeah. I like the light refreshing, so I got like something that has got like vanilla and like eucalyptus in it. It was very nice. It's very it's nice. It's very and light. pretty. It's a perfume versus the oh, do you to to toilet, toilet water? Yes. I don't know why they call it <laughs> that. Toilet, I, don't I don't know. I don't like that. But whatever. <laughs> I know it means something on? else. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, a nice bottle of perfume. It'll last a long time. And I think they said something about you can get refills too, right? There is a refill you can get. Um, I think that bottle is going to last me a lifetime because <laughs> I don't, I don't use it. That yeah, and often. you don't need a lot of, of that perfume, no. I don't think. I don't think right. you need a lot. Uh, when you use perfume, you don't need as much. Right. Um, um, sorry, Jim, they didn't have any Dijon for men for you. <laughs> Dijon for men? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm not even going to say these names because uh, I will butcher them. We're going to butcher a lot of names today. No, I'm not even going to try. That's a cute little store. Do you ever want to visit France, Jim? Yes. I'd love to visit There's France. There's a lot of great things I'd like to see in France. Like, like Disneyland? Disneyland Paris. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's go check out the Beauty and the Beast sing-along. <clears throat> it's in one minute. Me, 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 me. Don't sing. <laughs> one minute, one minute. Oh, it's so pretty in here. Look at all these. Wow, look at all these. Wow. Authentic props from the cartoon. Yeah. Alright, are you ready for a sing-along, Jen? <laughs> I am, and I think I know all the words already. I really liked Beauty and the Beast for a long time. I called it my favorite Disney movie. Oh. There's been a lot since then, so I don't know if that's true anymore, but it is a well-done movie. That being said, I'm not the biggest fan of this sing-along. It's kind of a cheesy cartoon, but you know. Now, didn't it used to be like Impressions of France or, yeah. or something like that? It was. It used to be a 20-minute film about uh, the landscape and things in France. And I think they still show that maybe once or twice a day, but mostly they seem to be showing this sing-along. So I think the one and only time we came in here to watch it because we finally like wanted to watch it. Yeah. Somebody sat behind us and opened every single package. Yes. Felt like that was in their bags to eat and snack. Yeah. And that's all you heard they, was crackling. They definitely had trouble opening every a hundred bag of chips. Yeah. Every single one of them. <laughs> I was so annoyed. And this is like a. I don't know, like 15 minutes or so? Yeah, and it was it's it's like nice music, beautiful scenery. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Beauty and the Beast sing-along. Before we begin, I should like to point out that our story today is a twist on the tale as old as time. Now, see that girl? That's Belle, and she lives in this cottage on the outskirts of town with her father, Maurice. She's on her way to the market to do her morning shopping, and as it turns out, her morning singing. So let's listen and sing along. Little town, it's a quiet village. Remember, there was an old abandoned castle in the woods. Of course, Belle would never go there on her own, so he started by luring her father out of town. And with a little help, Maurice would get lost in the woods and end up in the castle. Then... Hello! Not a word of a name, not one word. It turned out that the abandoned castle wasn't abandoned. Luckily, the fool was on his way. Now, your dinner. Here we 
Pascal. Be our guest. guest. Be our guest. Put our service to the test. To try the gray stuff, it's delicious. You don't believe me? Ask the dishes. Manager Gaston, who was not in the best of moods. The fool had to distract him to keep his mind off of Bill. So... No one's late, yes, yes, no, no one's quick, yes, yes, no, no. Nice and loud, all together now. There's something sweet and almost kind. So the sing-along dumps you out in a little gift shop area. Surprise! Surprise! Uh, but it's right outside of Le Halle Patisserie, which is... Le Halle. Uh, it, <laughs> I know, butchering names all yep. day, all night. Done. Uh, it's a great little spot. I think we've touched on it before. Uh, we get French bread there sometimes, but they have a lot of great sandwiches and pastries. Uh, great stuff. Yeah, great really, stuff. really great stuff. Great, uh, great spot to hit in the morning if you need like a breakfast item and you don't want the same old breakfast sandwich they have everywhere else. I like to get the French bread here because it's like feels like two feet long. It's a great and it's value. like three dollars. Yeah, and it's the best French bread I've ever had. Totally shareable. Comes yeah. with some butter and some jam. Yeah, uh, it's a nice treat. Jam? I didn't know we had jam. <laughs> so, I don't know if we're going to get anything today because we already had all those crepes. And there's still some other treats I want to get. Plus, we have lunch later. Yeah, like oh. soon. I think lunch is like soon. Uh, I, I don't know how I'm not going to leave France 10 pounds heavier today. Yeah. When we leave Les Halles, I think that's how you say it. There are some gift shops on this side too. And I believe you can get some champagne over there. Yeah, there's some wine tasting in there. Something I think like pay that. For it, but, yeah, uh, let's go take a yeah. browse through. So I love all the little like different food options in all the countries actually. Different offerings that they have. It's so like unique. These butter cookies are wearing a beret. Aww. So I think he's giving me attitude. <laughs> all the bad wines are kept. It's like a little wine cellar. It's like a little wine prison. It's so cute. Monsieur Paul restaurant. I think I got that. So that's a restaurant that is a fancy schmancy signature uh, restaurant. Uh, I'm pretty sure if you're on the dining plan, you need a couple of dining credits to eat there. Uh, that is the, the high-end dining. We won't be going in there. No. So as a reminder, if you're having fun watching our videos, subscribe to our channel. Be our guest. Be our guest. guest. Be, be our, our guest. guest. <laughs> Lardison de Glaces. <laughs> If that's how you say it, I don't know. Uh, it's probably Lardison de Glace or something. I don't know. It's an ice cream shop, right? Yeah, let's yeah. go get some ice cream. Yeah, there's a really good one in here. All right, so our ice cream. Yeah, um, Croc Glace. Croc Glace. Croc Glace. We've learned how to say lots of French things today. And uh, yeah, check this out. It's in a brioche bun. It's all toasted up. It's got chocolate sauce on our chocolate peanut butter ice cream. Yeah, I forget the name of the ice cream, but it's like a chocolate and nuts, and and we chose to get the chocolate sauce mm. on the inside. They put quite a bit in it. It's warm on the outside and cold on the inside. That's exactly what it is. It's like nice and warm and soft, like brioche. And then the ice cream is nice um, and cold in the middle. Let me see the inside. Ooh. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Yeah. Looks delicious. Save some for me. All right, so I think it's uh, Grand Marnier slushy time, Jim. It is Grand Marnier slushy time. Uh, this is a uh, another booth I can't pronounce the name of, but yeah, this has been here for years and it's one of the best drinks in all of Epcot. It's permanent. 
This queue is like a test to see if you're too dizzy to drink. <laughs> what you got there? The Grand Marnier orange slush. I just learned today that you can get an extra shot of it. An it's extra like, shot of the Grand Marnier right on top. Right on top. Mm. So delicious, so refreshing. It is, it's delightful, it's orange, it's boozy, it's frozen, it's great on a hot summer day. And you get this cool little elegant cup. I look very fancy. Fancy. So, what a day in France. This is a big pavilion to just say, hey, let's really look around this one pavilion. I don't think there's one here in Epcot that's got more going on. I don't think so. I think France is the largest. I mean, we came pretty early in the day and we, we started with the obvious, like, let's head over towards Ratatouille. And uh, we were immediately distracted by La Creperie and uh, had a great meal over there. Mm, that's right. Yeah. The ham and cheese. Crepe? That was mm. delicious. It was like a, such a perfect breakfast option. And I then, mean, the banana was good too. It but was, yeah. The ham and cheese just hit the spot. Definitely good breakfast. So I was very impressed with what we found over there. Yeah. And then, yeah. We rode Ratatouille. We, we rode Ratatouille, which is a great ride. Try to avoid the long wait if you can. Go early, get a lightning lane. Whatever you gotta do. Or wait in a long line. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, and then uh, yeah, we did some other things. We caught the the, the sing along, which uh, was just okay. But it doesn't have a weight, and it's a comfortable seat, so uh, that was okay. We we hit a bunch of places to get great things to eat. Uh, the patisserie has great snack options, and uh, and then we bought perfume today. I didn't buy perfume. Dawn got perfume today. Oh, it's very yeah. pretty for you. And she got this great bottle that's engraved with her name and they painted it and it's beautiful. It is beautiful. All that uh, engraving and the painting was free. Yeah. The yeah. perfume the wasn't perfume free. perfume was not free. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, you can use your imaginations. Uh, there's some expensive perfume here. There was also champagne tasting going on, and we also got some great ice cream. Oh yeah, the yeah, ice cream. The brioche bun, that was so delicious. so delicious. That's one of my favorite treats here. It's, it's that nice combination of like warm, you know, bun and bread mixed with ice cold ice cream, sweet. It, it's really a nice treat. It's weirdly warm on the outside and icy cold on the inside. It is. They they've got the formula down just right. They so. really do. And, and then of course, you know, it's the uh, the the best drink in all of the World Showcase, the Grand Marnier slushie. I think so too. Uh, that might you know you might want to fight me on that. I don't know, but. This has been a consistent winner for us for a long time. And last but not least, uh, we did uh, Le, Ch uh, Le Chefs de France uh, for lunch today, and that was a great meal. And we made a video about it, so check it out. Uh, we'll link it below. And um, and yeah, that was a great experience as well. So we had a great time in France today. Like. That was the most time I think I've ever spent in one pavilion. But what a great time. We didn't even talk about the Eiffel Tower. The Eiffel Tower is here. It's not the real Eiffel Tower. It's one tenth the size of the real Eiffel Tower. So only really little people can go up in it. <laughs> but it looks really big. Looks It does because it's off in the distance. It looks very, it, it's authentic to, uh, to the original in that it's, it's the original plans down to a one-tenth scale. So uh, it, it's got a true flavor of Paris. But we had a great time. Uh, uh, don't forget to watch our video about, about the restaurant and thanks for joining us. Dawn, how'd I do today? Nice work, pal. <laughs> so
So le creperie de pre. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and how would they say? Tongue tied? So le creperie de. de. <laughs> He's had no drinks I've yet, had... guys. Nothing. It's been coffee. I've had too coffee. Much coffee. Oh, you did have a couple I lattes. Have you okay? You okay? Yeah. <laughs> so remit. Remit. Bad. <laughs> This is gonna be full of jokes. <laughs> is, this a, is this a raspberry beret? Raspberry beret. I can't sing either. In an Epcot store. 